Oh, uh, well, hello. My name is Dead Pallet, and I do appreciate being called a liar. And I have no idea what it is that we're playing. From what I understand, it's called Cards Against Humanity. And I'm playing with one of my favorite authors, not David Slime King. Beast. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. And my dear friend, David King, who is the person at Midnight Marinara or whatever. <laughs> Midnight Marinara Dead or Pallet whatever. found my fanfic. I knew it. He's a fan of mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeff the Killer came across a girl by the name of Shmela, and he couldn't <laughs> kill her because she was so beautiful, and they, they became boyfriend and girlfriend forever. Um, excuse me, but it's Shmela Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Shmela Shmoo. <laughs> Shmela Shmoo from the planet Shmoo. Okay, I have a confession to make. Oh, yeah? Um, I, you know, the short creepy pasta, the portraits, so, no. you know, classic one. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote that. <gasps> um, and, and you might, and you might say, wow, you're a very, very talented writer and you have indelibly shaped creepy pasta for the better. But I also have to confess that I wrote Jeff the Killer as well. <laughs> oh, I see. Didn't you also, didn't you also write pen pals? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> what about Sonic.exe? I, I I was a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's okay. I was a little drunk when I wrote Happy Happy. So uh, I'm getting yeah. my I'm getting my tenses a little wrong. I mean to say I am a little drunk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's little and he's drunk, but yeah. Aww. Aww. So shall we begin? Before I it. reveal the fact that I've been Mr. Creepypasta the entire time. Oh my god, you sued yourself. God damn it. I broke blank. Hmm. So you didn't make bank, you broke blank. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, cards, uh, yes, cards. Hmm. Ah, yes, cards. I have plenty of cards, yes. Right. Humanity. Hmm. I have no humanity, but I have lots of cards. I don't have any humanity. That's the sequel to I Have No Mouth, But I Must Scream. God damn it. Oh, I love that story. Oh, my God. That's such an amazing story. I broke Pamela Anderson's boobs <laughs> running in slow motion. You actually broke the VHS for one of the reruns. Oh, like I, kept, I, kept, like... I kept rewinding to that part, and it wore out the VHS. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture her it. running down the beach and you just run by and punch her and it just goes poots. <laughs> I imagine sand would come out. <laughs> God damn it. I broke Save by the Cell Save by the Cell. Save by the Bell season one. Save by the Cell. The you kept... pasta. I think I preferred Save by Frieza season one. <laughs> I like the idea that you just kept rewinding to the part with Jesse Spano and eventually broke it. <laughs> God damn it. Mario Lopez. I broke the actual Holocaust. <laughs> damn it. Is that a good thing, though? Like, you you broke the Holocaust, so it stopped happening? He apparently is not happy about it. No, I'm, I'm pretty upset. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. God <laughs> well, damn it. I am certainly a fan of weird experiments and genocide, so... Whoa. Oh, the Holocaust. Yay. Whoa. Keep, keep in mind, Dead Pallet is drunk, ladies and gentlemen. Keep, it, keep that in mind. <laughs> How much of that Jägermeister do you have left? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Over. Quiet. Ooh. There we go. You have to relieve oh, yourself. Off. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. Another card I wrote. My Dia de los Muertos ofrenda will definitely include blank this year. There we go. <laughs> so mine involves a little bit of meta. <laughs> How the fuck is this meta, David? <laughs> you have to figure out which one mine is first. These dill pickles are really meta. <laughs> Yeah. Spiders crawling from the tip of a penis. <laughs> oh, that sounds really painful. Uh. Setting a spawn point. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go with... I, I, 
Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I talked to lie. Spiders crawling from the, the tip of a penis is the most, the one that comes out to me, but it, it sounds... sticks out. <laughs> and crawling out. Oh, but it sounds so painful. <laughs> uh, we'll go with setting a spawn point. Damn it. You got it. Because, cause you know, an offering in Day of the Dead tradition is supposed to, like, you know, be an offering to a deceased family member. Yeah. So if you set the spawn point there, maybe they'll come back. Oh, how is that meta for you? No, it's just, that's the meta, that's the humor of it. Oh, okay. Then don't call it meta. It's not okay, meta. It's not meta. Oh. Did you just make the Day of the Dead nerdy? Did yes. Did you really? Anything yes. David says is automatically nerdy. It's true. Yeah, well, you remember, 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 Midnight Marinara is run by a fat loser. So. <laughs> Who is coincidentally only like, I think, less than 100 and 120 pounds. That's what you take issue with. <laughs> Stewardess, there's blank on the wing of the plane. I really like this. I'm a huge um, uh, Twilight Zone fan. Oh, I thought you were going to say William Shatner. Fan. Say Twilight fan. <laughs> Twilight. No, I had. Uh, <laughs> and Stuart- actually, you would call it the zone. Stewardess, there's the hunky what... vampire on the wing. <laughs> the sparkle is blinding the pilot. Stewardess, <laughs> there's hot Jessica Parker on the wing of the plane. Whoa, that, nobody believes that. <laughs> there, there's a jive talking <laughs> monolith on the wing of the plane. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different airplane movie altogether. <laughs> Sounds like it is. Guys, that's really common when you fly to Night Vale. Mmm, true. Wait, Stewardess, David, have there's... I have. Okay, good. Have you seen the previews for that new Goosebumps movie where there's sentient penis-eating lawn gnomes on the wing of the plane? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have the little garden what? shears, you know? I, w- I want to see uh, Rod Sterling do an introduction about sentient penis-eating lawn gnomes. <laughs> It almost Smoking sounds like a part. Ninja Turtles <laughs> ripoff. Cindy and Venus eating lawn gnomes. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you might recognize, is a sentient penis eating lawn gnome. <laughs> <laughs> a lawn gnome sitting in the middle of the yard, but something's off. In its tiny hands, a half eating penis. <laughs> You've just entered dick first into the Twilight Zone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Sign You've sealed, delivered, I'm blind. The glory hole to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> the glory hole to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Poking out a giant eye. Hmm. I can't wait till they make a new Twilight Zone movie because the last one was so depressing. You mean the one hey. where people actually died? Want to see yeah. something really yeah. scary? <laughs> <laughs> Sign sealed, delivered. I'm getting scared by thunder and <laughs> trailing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the mental image of that is just too funny. <laughs> Sign sealed, delivered. I'm faking an orgasm. (laughs) Sign sealed, delivered. I'm a mula. I'm a mulatto. An albino. A mosquito. In my (laughs) albino. I'm going to have to go with the first one. (sighs) Yeah. Because I just pictured sign sealed, delivered. I'm. See, for me, it's not always about what's the most offensive. It's just what is the funniest in that moment. It's just hmm. got to be like that. That to me was genuinely hilarious. Oh, Let's suicide see. house committed suicide because of Deborah. <laughs> Jesus, how many times Deborah, are we going to reference those shitheads? <laughs> every, <laughs> every single, channel. every video. Oh God. Every time I talk to you, I'm going to go around the internet and find any place where people have posted your story without telling you and leave comments <laughs> about Deborah, the lawyer cat. Oh, man. I picked the wrong card? Yeah, I did. How do I get it back? You can't. It's too late. You have to commit. No, I can't. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> suicide mouse committed suicide because of slowly giving up on life. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to read it. <laughs> okay. Suicide Mouse committed suicide because of washing sweat from the crotch of Slender Pan's pants. Hmm. That sounds like a a fan fiction that's like a slice of life story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that Suicide Mouse and Slender Man, they get into some wacky antics. Wantics. I'm, I'm, I'm now imagining Suicide Mouse and Slender Man as characters on The Office. Oh, jeez. God. And then, like... <laughs> That should be a great. That would be a great video. All the creepy pasta characters as characters on the office. <laughs> and then, and then you just see Slender Man. Like there's a there's a shot of Slender Man putting his pants into the laundry, and you see his <laughs> pale legs. And then it just cuts to like the interview shot of like Suicide Mouse looking at you, and he just nods like disapproving, like <laughs> that Slender Man. Mm. That Slender Man. That Slender Man. Slender suicide Man. Mouse committed suicide because of. Donna colon D. <laughs> I, I assume it was supposed this, to be. I, it could be Donald with a typo, but I kind of like Donna colon D. <laughs> Donna colon D. I just Donna when you were talking D. about the office, I was just picturing proxy to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I want to go with slowly giving up on life. Uh. <sighs> I fucked up. I, I was trying to type up Donald's uh, dead head. And then I realize, and then it clicks enter, and I'm like, fuck! No! By the way, if you want to read the creepypasta about Donna Colandy, <laughs> that will be out soon. Donna Colandy. <laughs> All right. I D I, that's me. Oh, okay. I D D Q D. Blank mode on. Hmm. Let me just okay, type just up this. I don't get. I Attract. God, attract mode. Why do you... Why? Why does well, this happen? Okay, uh, I'm not getting the reference. IDDQD. What is that from? <gasps> 90s kids remember. <laughs> <laughs> David, help. Now you're on your own on this one. Uh-oh. Dead palette, do you know it? No, I don't know what the fuck <gasps> that is. You don't know God mode from Doom. Oh. How dare you? Degreeless miss no. mode on. Degreelessness, not degreeless miss, like I said. I don't get it, David. What's it from? It's God mode from Doom. The code to get God mode in Doom. Like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. It's I D D Q D. Isn't that the oh? Isn't that the Konami code? Oh wait, yeah, I didn't. Think <laughs> that. Saying that we can play games instead of having a life. Must <laughs> <sighs> see. I have to go with spending the weekend playing games instead of having a life. Really? There you go. Yeah. I would think misandry mode would be in Duke Nukem, but I don't know. Misandry mode is always in Duke Nukem, though. <laughs> Monster girls are hot if you like blank. Ah! <laughs> the hell? No, 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 no. Just. Ah, real monster just, girls? We just let it happen. Monster girls are hot if you like taking an entire creeper head to toe. Monster girls are hot if you like shitty self-insertion creepypasta, <laughs> Mary Sue's. Monster girls are hot if you like Samara climbing out of your sex tape. Damn. Wow. I've, I've read a hentai that was literally that. It's fucking amazing. Taking an entire <laughs> creeper head to toe? No, Samara <laughs> climbing out of a sex tape. You know, isn't, isn't Video Girl AI... Basically, the ring, if it was um, not scary. If it was a hot girl who was really timid, didn't want to give you her virginity, but would offer you really miserable hand jobs. <laughs> Pretty much. And then gets you video girl eye? A, yeah, video Good girl stuff. eye. Hmm. Yeah, no, of course. I, I, someone, someone here was bound to know what I was talking about. And, and it was me. No surprise, it was Death <laughs> And yet, none of you know fucking Doom, but that's fine. I have to go that's with Jane the Killer. It. Yeah, yeah. Mm. See why I laugh? Yeah. No, I only played computer games up until I was 13, and that's when I got my first video game system. Well, damn. Yeah, I know. I didn't have Doom as a kid. Hmm. Funny enough, the first <sighs> game I did play was Mist on the computer. I had, um... 
those like old uh, DOS games like um, Wumpus. <laughs> oh, did you have like a Cosmos Cosmic Adventure? Did hmm. you have ET Mysteries? No. Or uh, Monster Bash with Johnny Dash. Uh, the Paint Adventures. No, I didn't have those. Hmm. But I, I won't join any club that doesn't allow blank guys. Did you ever have that DOS game, Uncle Funky's Carpeted Van? <laughs> Did you ever have that uh, DOS game, The Theater? The Theater? <laughs> I vaguely recall that one. Isn't that the one where there's like a swirly head man? Hmm. <laughs> swirly head man, swirly head man. <laughs> um, I won't join any club that doesn't allow the hottest hot sauce. Hmm. Mm -mm. Yep. Ghost peppers everywhere. <laughs> I won't join any club that doesn't allow Luigi in a pink gown and tiara because, you know, <laughs> the decade of Luigi never ends. <laughs> I won't join any club that doesn't allow shouting, go to sleep, at children while they're sleeping. Hmm. I kind of like the sound of that club. Yeah. All right. It's, it's I guess, the Cub Scouts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to hell. Here's your complimentary blank. Let's see here. Here's your what? complimentary cease and desist order. <laughs> no, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No one sent what? me a cease uh, and desist uh, order. Uh, uh. He's gonna know. He, it's like beating a dead horse, except it's not a horse. It's a cat. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's really oh. Oh, speaking of horse. Welcome to hell. Here's your complimentary angry lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell. Here's your complimentary Charlie horse. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut the A out of there to make it read better. Mm. Thank you. Welcome to hell. Here's your complimentary sex that lasts longer than either of you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does that strike a chord? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I really like all three of these. <laughs> oh, we're on Picture fire all three round. together. Like literally, because we're in hell. Hmm? Well, luckily, um, if I ever do go to hell, I'll see all three of you. True. True. Well, I like I'd like the sex, like for the awkwardness. Damn it. Yay! There's Someone a demon and the demon is like, I'm I'm not having a good time either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone, no, whoever a... put Angry Lesbians was sure that they won that one, but they were wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I think I, I, think I got your card, uh, Slime Beast. <sighs> I'll sue you if you use. <laughs> Actually, that would have been fucking hilarious if he did get that card. I'll, I'll sue, sue you if you, if you use, you use he might, he might sue us if we, if we keep bringing up the, the week that was. <laughs> I'm feeling very triggered right now, and I need to, just need to save space. <laughs> uh. Well, thank God he's on the other side of the country. <laughs> uh. Triggers are guys. I'll sue you if you use dangling old man balls. <laughs> Go, <I'll> Pikachu! <laughs> I've had my coffee. coffee. I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Do you want me to teach you how to catch Pokemon? <laughs> I'll sue you if you use a pelvic exam. Hmm. Hmm. This sounds like a wrestling match. <laughs> like, I'll use you if you try and give me a pelvic exam. Hmm. <laughs> I'll sue you if you use my demon possessed right hand. <laughs> I have a question. Don't all three of these again seem to go together in a scenario? Yeah. <laughs> Dangly old man wow. balls, a pelvic exam, and my demon possessed right hand. Listen, lady, it's the hand. I, you know, I, I can't do anything don't, about it. Don't bite the demon possessed hand that feeds you. <laughs> I got a question. Have you seen Evil Dead 2? Yes. Okay, good. It's like mandatory. <laughs> oh. Well, see? God see? Damn it. It's the power of love. It's the power of screen cheating. Um, David, cheating. Kayla, I have to ask, where do babies come from? From your mom! Oh, snap. Well, true. <laughs> Man, this would be really silly if someone actually had mom as their card. 
<laughs> a pelvic exam would have been good, but... That would have been good. Oh, dangly old man balls. <laughs> 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 well, technically. I have to select uh, two here. Oh! Oh! oh. Damn. Well, that's a very tough one. I have to, I have to credit on the luck. Even though a loveless relationship is very true, I'm trying <laughs> yes. to save the marriage. Thank but, yeah. you. <laughs> Another I have awesome to go with point. that just for the sheer luck. Hmm. Oh, we Batman versus Superman versus blank versus right. Freddy versus <laughs> Jason versus Leather Alien Day. versus Predator versus. Wa- Mario Reddit. versus Wario. <laughs> Batman versus Superman versus Reddit. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I could actually see that being a tough call of, of who will win because, you know, Batman doesn't really have any powers, uh, but he's good at what he does. Superman is amazingly incredible, and Reddit has the power to just shit all over both of them. Hmm. True. Yeah. I mean, if they could take out Ellen Pow. <laughs> yes. I, I think I think they're okay. I think they'll be okay then. But maybe, maybe it's worse if they take out Ellen Pow. Hmm. Like then there's nothing to stand between them and <laughs> the bully subreddit. <laughs> I'm just picturing like you know, Wayne Enterprises has picked up Reddit after the debacle. Which ah, <laughs> uh, topical this video is. Mm, yes, for the time um, being. Batman versus Superman versus a Dutch oven. Superman, why would you do that? God damn it. <laughs> They learn more about themselves than you know just by cooking. It's not funny, <laughs> Superman. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I kind of like Batman versus Superman versus the Children of the Corn. <laughs> like, that would actually be a match I would watch. You're would thinking say. about using your laser vision. I'm really torn. Actually, actually that's not Children of the Corn. That's, uh... Oh... Fuck. What is the name of it? That is... A, I don't think Still, there was a uh, movie Children called of the oh, Damned. Fuck. Hmm? Children of the Damned? Is that it? Because... Here, here's the thing. Duh. Children of the Corn wins. I, I, I'm an Ohioan. I love my corn. <laughs> I know you wrote a story about how much you love corn. I've <laughs> written much... multiple fucking stories about how much I love corn. But, but, but there's one story in particular where you talk about doing lovely things in the corn. See, I'm having trouble the right, remembering, remembering the fucking name of this movie because I know the book is called The Midwitch Cuckoos, but the book or the, oh. or the movie is called... Um, it's uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest. No, 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 no. That's something completely different. <laughs> God damn it. And now for something completely different. No, uh, no, The Midwitch Cuckoos is about the children who have, like, pale hair and they're, like, basically albinos, but they can read people's minds and, like... Uh, weird shit happens. So they have pale uh, hair, sort of like a bowl cut. No, 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 no. They're they're basically like albinos, and then they can read people's minds. And basically, um, the whole story is about a village where all the women get pregnant at the exact same time, have children at the exact same time, and they all have albino children at the exact same time, who just happen to have psychic powers. Oh, is that the um? Is that the story where I come into town and then I leave really quickly? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> See you, ladies. No, the, well, well, as we speak, indie developers are working super hard on a pretentious game about... Hmm. What could it be about? I it, had two good cards for this one. It was, I was actually really torn. Did you have the card that says a young woman trying to come to terms with her life? <laughs> Which is every indie game? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I'm served right away. <laughs> Village of the Dam. That's the name of it. God damn it. I was having a tough time remembering it. As we speak, indie, ve- indie developers are working hard on a super pretentious game about a douchebag YouTuber's precious opinions. <laughs> downvote. Downvote. Why are, you- are you breathing in your face? Gross. <laughs> claiming first. Hmm. Well... <laughs> Good luck to you. Hmm. Seems like a tough call, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't envy Dead Palette. Also, <laughs> this is a hard choice. Yes. <laughs> um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Wario. 
Yeah. Really? I like, I like him. <laughs> I like him just breathing in your face. That's a good idea. <laughs> what do you think well, that you know would what? smell like? They're gonna they're gonna make that Funyuns. game. <laughs> they're gonna and they're gonna change Wario's colors and they're gonna claim the game is original. Oh. Yes. <laughs> So Nintendo can't see them. Oh, man. <laughs> this is Bofario. <laughs> Bofario? <laughs> this is Lothario. It's character. It's, it's Wario and mixed with a toad. It's Bufario, is that? <laughs> Bulbous Bufario. <laughs> to Topario. Uh, Guys, I, I tried to sit, but Blank was in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> David. If somebody has the David King card oh my God. in the uh. Scarecrow outfit. <laughs> well, that would, wouldn't that actually be kind of creepy, though? You open the, the toilet lid and I'm and you, there's just a, like a plague doctor mask staring up at you. Yeah. I'd be like, David, get your shit out of the toilet now. <laughs> David, get your shit out of the toilet. Don't flush it. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, Kayla. I try to sit, but the spot where a series of killings took place on this exact day many years ago was in the t- <laughs> A rocket launcher right up the end. <laughs> a talking anus that tells me. We went off the rails on this one, guys. This is a crazy train. Oh, the most rolling. immature to- one that we've ever done. Talk about a rocket jump. <laughs> oh, man. So when are we playing Team Fortress 2 together? <laughs> <laughs> this needs to happen, except I suck at Team Fortress 2. The old gypsy woman told me that the only way to kill a werewolf is blank. <laughs> a rocket launcher straight up the ass. Rot <laughs> <laughs> row. Rot row. The only way to kill a werewolf is <laughs> a country song without divorce dogs or drunks. Good luck. Uh, the only way to kill a werewolf is to the hilt. The only way to kill a werewolf is saying Bill Murray was never actually funny. Aww. Heart attack. <sighs> yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, I wasted my Bill Murray card. Well, if you get a blank, you could write, write another one in or something. That's true. Bill Murray in a uh, French maid outfit. Speaking personally, home is where blank is. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I, d- I did like the idea of your toilet being the spot of multiple murders <laughs> several years ago. <laughs> People just filing like in and getting killed. <laughs> Speaking personally. Talking about gas chambers. <laughs> oh. All right. Speaking personally, home is where the shining is. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no, you've been here your whole life. Mm. Uh, speaking personally, home is where a man who is actually three babies stacked under a trench coated fedora is. The secret revealed. Speaking personally, home is where <laughs> sucking the president's dick is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Why is sucking the president's dick at. Oh, no, I get it now. <laughs> I was about to yeah, ask that why was it was a thing that hard, happened. But now I get it. Hmm. It's a pro second. That's a thing that happened, and it probably happened recently. I can't imagine that Michelle wouldn't do that. Michelle Obama's arms is one of my favorite cards against humanity cards, by the way. Hmm. But it's not in here. She'd it's be good at name. hand jobs. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Would shining. Ch- Yay! I like. I just. I like how it flows. Home is where the shining is. <laughs> it sounds pretty. Red rum. Red rum. What I'm looking at. For what? midnight. Blah. What I'm looking for in the forest at midnight. <laughs> Not Italian food. What I'm looking for at mid- <laughs> in the forest at midnight. Stephen King searching for ideas in Stephen King novels. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, jeez. A, a stunning lack of writing talent. <laughs> That's a comp- that's a weird backhanded compliment because that means you have to you're looking for the lack of of, of writing talent. Hmm. A very horny tree. It adds up. It actually does. It sounds like a story in itself. <laughs> story the giving tree. No, I like the giving tree. I was thinking more like the tree from the last unicorn. Hmm. Well, nobody knows I what that say, is. I, 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 I obviously I can't say who who played what card, but I actually wrote no. Did I? I, I at least suggested that card, a very oh. horny tree, when we, you and I were working on this. Possibly. It's hard to it's hard for me to recall because there's like two hundred million cards, and it's like yeah, things come up, and I'm like, is that? I actually look at the little indicator, and I'm like, is that from my deck? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. Well, oh, very, okay. well, a very horny tree is very apt. I do like Stephen King searching for <laughs> ideas. In yeah, the King you know what? that was good. The, the tree was mine, but honestly, it's canary tea. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, I just—he's reading this book, and he's like a psychic <laughs> child. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> So, whose card is this? It's, uh, oh, I, I, I spoke, sorry. Ma'am, please keep your baby quiet. I am not above blank. Hmm. I am not above wearing your blood, blood and guts out on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Having nip mouths for nipples. Hmm. Oh, that sounds, um. Intriguing? Having that. Uh, I wonder what my boobs would say if they could speak. If boobs could talk. <laughs> oh, the tales they tell. <laughs> Answering a slight by bricking an enemy behind a basement wall. Oh, would oh, that, that be was the baby? Definitely... <laughs> I, I kind of like... For the love of God, Montresor, I'm sorry. I'll keep my baby quiet. <laughs> I thought it was the baby, and it's like, jingle yeah. your little bells, baby. <laughs> I like wearing your blood and guts on the outside, because it's just so horrible. It's like, man, please keep your baby quiet. I am not a bubbler. <laughs> yeah, those are those are good. Jesus. The live stream was going well, until it was interrupted by... Oh, God. Luckily, this isn't a live stream. Oh, uh, true. Or is it? Maybe I've been lying all along. Dun, dun, dun. You're done? All right, bye. <laughs> no, I'm staying here. Oh. <laughs> it was interrupted by reptoids. The live stream was going well until, until it was interrupted by giving Mrs. Voorhees a new son. <laughs> or Miss Voorhees. The live stream was going well until it was, until it was interrupted by being totally dreamy. <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. Gee, I wonder what part that's from. 90s. Ah, I don't see the 90s marker on it. <gasps> It's almost uh -huh. as if it's from one of my decks. Interesting. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh shit. Uh, you, you, I, it's fine to have, like, one card about me, but <laughs> you're just going overboard with this. <laughs> <laughs> Keep dreaming, I guess. Um, all I can picture Demo. is... Hey, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to wrap up this live stream. i got to go. Uh, apparently, there's some murders down at the lake, and i got to take care of it. <laughs> You know, uh, she's only going to chill out if she gets this, so, you know. Yeah. And don't drown this one. <laughs> I am not worthy. Please, accept this humble offering of blank. Hmm. What would it be? This animal who I did see. <laughs> Are you quoting Zaboomafu at me? Yes. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Were we all just children? Oh my god. We are all actually just children here anyway. <laughs> I'm not worthy. Please accept this humble offering of a cactus dildo. Hmm. <laughs> I am not worthy. Please accept this humble offering of pony cupcakes. Hmm. Man, I'm so hungry I would just take that. Yeah, that would be really good. <laughs> I am not worthy. Please accept this humble offering of an I voted sticker. Boy, ain't that the truth. I voted yeah. sticker. Not worthy, but thank you for the sticker. Thank you very much. I'm going to wear it with pride. 
my life would be empty without my true love. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> my life would be empty without my true love. Finding a dead Santa in the chimney. My life would be empty without my true love. An embarrassing fetish. Hmm. My life would be empty without my true love. Jack shit. <laughs> no, that's actually who he's dating. His, real his name, name is, is Jack. Jack. <laughs> is he going to change his last name to yours? <laughs> I hope so. Jack Pallet sounds a lot better. Or it could be dead shit. <laughs> <laughs> dead shit. <laughs> well, I, I like things being hidden in plain sight and slowly coming forward. And there is no such thing as a fetish that's embarrassing for me. I'm completely it. content with all of them. Yay! Aww. Aww. Man, that was Jack shit was comedy gold. I know. I just feel like Dead Palette had a really good Christmas one year. <laughs> it's like, ooh. <laughs> it involved gremlins. And gasoline and pennies. <laughs> oh. Do you feel that chill? It's the presence of blank in the house. <gasps> <laughs> hmm. What would Kayla feel the presence of in the house? Mm. Hmm. An ambulance passed by. <laughs> Entirely too many bats. <laughs> At big fat fucking nothing. <laughs> Jeez. Do you feel that chill? It's the presence of fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for guys... the money, suckers. Bye. <laughs> uh, remind me after this. Have you guys ever seen um, anything by Man with Ten Toes? No. Uh, Mike Peterson. No. no. He's a YouTube channel, and he does he does this. He's got these two videos, and one of them is called "Worthless Animals," and it's just him talking talking to his cat who's just sitting there, and he's trying to get his cat motivated. And he's just like, "Read that fucking book, read the book, <laughs> you know, be inspired." But anyway, the the next video he does is he goes, "Um, it's called Worthless Update," and he's just like, "So I'm sure a bunch of you have been wondering uh, how my cat's been doing since the last last video. Um, I'll give you a hint." It rhymes with fucking nothing. <laughs> I've, I've heard clips of somebody yelling at their cat before, and I feel like it's from that. Probably not. That's the guy who did the, is that fucking jump? Fucking get down from there. Yeah. That's not the same thing. I'm going to go with big fat fucking nothing. Ha ha, I win. Entire, really? Oh, yes. no. I'm the winner. Aw. I'm the big fat fucking I something. I almost did entirely too many bats because bats are my favorite animal. Hmm. That's why I played that card. I know. I was like, that's probably David's card. <laughs> and you were like, screw what him, I'm the asshole. Something else. <laughs> mm. Right? I'm such a manipulative asshole. I mean, she probably would have kept entirely too many bats, but, you know. Hmm. <laughs> I was like, David probably played this card. See? <laughs> See? Trust me, we would have loved to choose entirely too many bats we love entirely too many bats but we would get in trouble <laughs> we had to let the i swear i'm done i swear i'm done we had to let slime beast win this one <laughs> the last pass too oh man anyway well, dead pallet would you like to do the outro and tell people to check out channels um oh god damn it yeah I suppose I have a channel somewhere on the internet. <laughs> if you Google Dead Palette, I'm sure you'll find it. Google it. Um, don't don't search it on YouTube. Google it. No, Google it. No, go, go to Bing. <laughs> search in Dead Palette. Use Internet Explorer. Hey, Lycos, yeah. go get it. Use Opera. Oh, jeez. Use Jinx. Mm. Or no, uh... Ask, uh, ask Jeeves. Don't forget, you can contact Dead Palette at earthlink.net. <laughs> yes. <laughs> at Angel Fire. You don't know how many times we had to redo the recording because on Dead Palette's end, we kept hearing, you've got mail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this dial-up connection is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> then I have my friend David here. He has a thing called Midnight Marinara. 
It's pretty cool. Mm. Well, thank you. He also has undercooked analysis where we shoot the shit about creepy pastas. We're gonna have a new where he shoots he shoots the shit, mm. and then I try and make the conversation serious, and then he's just like, "No, but jokes." <laughs> No, because what people jokes? don't come for the discussion, DP. They come for the jokes. Whoa! But they stay for the discussion. Hmm. We're like uh, we're like a dynamic duo. We're like um, I'm, uh, I'm the straight man. No, you're the straight man. You like yes, Oscar I'm and Felix, Felix, basically. Come on, listen to your voice. I'm clearly the straight man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, 